Hi, y'all. Welcome to Austin 360 Studio Sessions, sponsored by Bud Light. I am Amber Rebold, your host, and we are very lucky today because we have Matt McCormick and the Earth Angels here with us. They are going to play several songs for us, and then after that, I will be stepping back in to do an interview. So if you're tuning in on Facebook Live, please feel free to put your burning questions in the comments below. And with no further ado, Matt McCormick and the Earth Angels. Thank you. Well, it starts with a seed, put it in the ground, pray for the rain. Then it starts to sprout, and it grows so high. People come from miles, everybody gets along. It's how you pass it on. Take these seeds, take them to the station, put them on the train, ride across the nation. Give them to the young, give them to the old. Tell them that it's love, they must pass it on. Well, time has come to carry the truth everywhere you go and bless every road that you take. Let love come to you and lessen your great load that you have carried alone. So much pain. I believe in the kingdom come. As it is up above When I stumble, when I fall Carries the weight of it all Now I know what it means To embrace every day Towards the christening of the light you will see and know that you will be led back home with every challenge with every fight your frailty is exposed or watch as your faith grows grows yeah I believe in the kingdom of God As it is up above When I stumble, when I fall It carries the weight of it all Now I know what it means To embrace every day Every day Every day, every day, he starts with the seed, put it in the ground, pray for the rain, then it starts to sprout, and it grows so high, people come from miles, everybody gets along, it's how you pass it on, take these seeds, take them to the station, put them on the train, Right across the nation, give them to the young, give them to the old. Tell them that it's love, they must pass it on. Starts with the seed, put it in the ground, pray for the rain. Then it starts to sprout, and it grows so high. People come from miles, everybody gets along. It's how you pass it on. Take these seeds, take them to the station, put them on the train. Right across the nation, give them to the young, give them to the old. Tell them that it's love, they must pass it on. Starts with a seed, put it in the ground, pray for the rain. Then it starts to sprout, and it grows so high. People come from miles, everybody gets along. That's how you pass it on.
more songs? Okay. This is a uh, this is a song called um, what is this? <laughs> Flow like a river. By the way, I want you to know that I'm doing better. It was the way that I left it behind. You see, it took me years to get it together. But I believe in harmony. As this world keeps turning, lessons I'm learning, I just let it go and flow like a river. Flow like a river, baby. Flow like a river and I breathe. Well, I found the key to a lot. Emotion stranded. Way too long, I must carry on. And I breathe. Well, I found the key to a lot. Emotion stranded. Way too long must carry on in the road the road that I take is the one less traveled I throw my seeds and they grow you see there's nothing in my way that's too hard to handle I believe in heart as this world keeps turning, lessons I'm learning, I just let it go and flow like a river, flow like a river, yeah, flow like a river, and I breathe. Well, I found the key to unlock emotion stranded, way too long, and I must carry on. I found the key to unlock emotion stranded way too long and I must carry on yeah. flow like a river flow like a river yeah. flow like a river baby flow like a river flow like a river flow like a river flow like a river Flow like a river, yeah, and I breathe. This is a song called the Happy Funeral Song. 
جوانان آن I will pass away You will turn to me But I will be gone But don't you cry for me I'll be in no misery I'll be singing this song Traveling on, traveling on I'll be singing this song Traveling on From time to time, I'll come down from the sky and make sure your gray skies are there go through. I will keep you company, keep you company. We can share a memory. I'll be singing this song, thinking of you, thinking of you. I'll be singing this song, traveling on. I could only make you see that this is nothing but a dream. If I could just enter your mind and let you know it'll be all right. There's really no such thing as time. There will come a day, will come a day. I will pass away. You will turn to me, but I will be gone. Don't you cry for me. Don't you cry for me. I'll be in no misery. I'll be singing this song, traveling on, traveling on. I'll be singing this song, traveling on. Thank you very much. This song is uh, called The Perils of Hollywood. I spent some time there. <laughs> <laughs> in three years residuals don't pay the bills when his show got canceled it was more than he could handle you see it was all that he knew he took a side job with the Hollywood mob delivering homemade goods yeah never faded you see it's on with the show Molly and guitars girl cigars and Hollywood it's all who you know there's a house in the valley some people call the chalet where future idols go it's there in the basement they prepare for a basement and they sell their souls but they famous children 
running wild in the middle of Dead Man Street. Oh, all is forgiven with the smile in the middle of Dead Man Street. Famous children, you see, they don't have the time. Like a bullet from a gun to a bar that nobody knows. Mm -hmm. A private getaway outside the Teagle Bay that reeks of Malibu rum. Mm -hmm. In the back, there's a table where he sits with the stable, ponders life, and was it worth all of this? Yeah. And then he smiles really big when he sees his picture hanging next to Nikki Six, Johnny Depp, and the Fix. Hey, famous children. Running wild in the middle of the dead end street. Oh, all is forgiven. Smile in the middle of the dead end street. They, famous children. Thank you. This is a uh, this is a song I uh, had a band years back called Rock Bottom Choir. This is one of the songs that we used to do. Actually, it's my favorite. My favorite song I've, I've, I've ever written, so kind of try to end the end the show this way. From the top of the highest mountains all to the deepest sea. From the spaceships in the sky to the earth, everything in between. No cause to ever doubt it. You got to get up, oh, put your arms around it. I want to tell the world, great thou art. Great thou art. For everything you do, oh, how great thou art. Take the love you have inside and spread it all over the world. Shout it to the satellites, to every boy and girl. There's no cause to ever doubt it. You got to get up, oh, put your arms around it. I want to tell the world. Everything you do, oh, I great thou art. Great thou art. Ah, great thou art. Everything you do, oh, I great thou art. If you need a shoulder, if you need a friend, be with you, 
till the very end. Now this is a celebration. Can you feel it in the air? If it's in your heart, then love is everywhere. How great thou art. Great thou art. For everything you do. That was amazing, Thanks. incredible. Um, just want to talk to you guys. We have so many questions now because <laughs> that was incredible. And I got to talk to you all a little bit beforehand. And we talked a little bit about how you're changing your music style, you're changing your songwriting style, and even this performance, adding the Earth Angels. Tell me a little about that. Um. into that the way that we did it was the um, choir change. And uh, we had a talking point about it, a unique sound. And I was like, you know, we kind of <coughs> talked about it. It kind of gave me the idea to kind of repurpose some old songs and introduce new songs. So you just casually mentioned um, that you and Gene Simmons were chatting on the phone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, if I can call you that, do you care to explain <laughs> yourself? Well, it was it was years ago. I wrote him a I wrote him an uh, an email, and I, I told him I liked his music and I hope he liked mine. <laughs> and like I wouldn't probably be doing it if it wasn't for him. And uh, and I sent him a CD, and he called he called me at my house like a week later, and then he flew down and and he cut you know he cut the song, he cut his vocals on it, and we kind of were buddies. It was like a couple days, not really. <laughs> Actually, he was. Uh, I was more excited to see him than he was me. I think when he. That's <laughs> unbelievable to me. First of all, <laughs> he should have taken it more seriously. Yeah, but he, you know, over the years, uh, we we kept in touch and stuff. And there was it was a period of my life I, you know, I went through here with the Sunnyan Creek flood and all this kind of stuff happened and and um, kind of hit rock bottom for a little bit. And I was like, you know, he never put the song out. And I was like, hey, do you mind if I release it? He gave me his blessing, told me like to use his name and. And um and then he put his version on his box set, which is you know on a on the vault his set with uh, Van Halen, Bob Dylan, and Aerosmith. Wow. So it's good. Co it's kind of great company. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Do y'all also get casual life coaching from <laughs> Gene Simmons? No, no yeah, me neither. Gene. It's weird. Not Gene. Weird now thing. I know. Speaking <laughs> of kind of impressive things right. in your background, right. I read online somewhere that you at seventeen opened for Blind Melon. Yeah. How how did That's that casually story. come to pass? Well, I. I joined this band, and they didn't, they had a singer, but I really wanted to sing for them. Um, I've never sang before, so I, 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 I thought I could sing, but I said, you know what, maybe if I get the guys a good gig. So I walked <laughs> down to the to New Daisy Theater, and Blind Melon was in town, and I liked them because of Guns N' Roses. We're doing Don't Cry, and I had this Shannon Hoon Axel thing, and like I was a big fan of both of those guys. So I told the guy at the theater, I go, like, we're the hottest band in town. We're over on the college strip. We're packing it out. I love us. And he said, okay, you got the opening gig. And I couldn't believe it. And I told the guys we're open up for Blind Melon. And, it's, and we did. Wow, I'm learning so much right now about how <laughs> I need to start running my life. Tell Gene I could use advice. I'm just going to start telling people that I'm amazing. It'll be great. Um, so speaking of that as well, right. you did a pretty cool tour this summer. Do yes. you want to talk a little about oh, that? Oh, man. It was amazing. There's a, my, one of my favorite writers of all time, Todd Snyder, who is a a legend, you know, already. He's a, a, a great a great folk writer, a great storyteller. But Todd has, over tw the last 20, 25 years, has built up a career of selling out theaters and, you know, rabid fans and people follow him, you know. And he has, his fan base goes from Chris Christopherson to Widespread Panic to so many great artists love him and champion him as well as I did. So I drove the van on kind of the first tour and, um, he tolerated me, and I and I and I got to learn from his record collection, and and um, it was a it was a, a really great thing to uh, to be involved with him at such an early stage. And then over the years, we've kept in touch, seen each other here and there. But um, 
he saw that I was doing something that he liked, and he took me out on the road. And it was, you know, a theater tour, and the, every, every town was sold out. It was awesome. 500 listening people, you know, it was great. Wow, that's amazing. And one other thing I want to ask is, how did this happen? This is a good thing. Right. I think we all like this. Right. <laughs> how did this come to pass? Well, this actually, I'm the lucky one to actually be here on the stage with these guys, because um, there was a one-to-one -one bar. I used to go there years ago, and I, the Matchmaker Band was and they do all Motown, and um, they have Motown Mondays. And I used to go down there and, um, and just kind of observe, because I loved all those songs. And um, my friend David Polking came, I was asking him, do you know, you know somebody that they gave me the numbers? I was like, oh my god, that's Matchmaker. Oh, I can't do it. They're like, killer. And I begged them, I begged them to do this. And um, I like to, everybody, this is, uh, this is Joseph, this is Ange. This is Tori. If you wanna, Ange, take it away. If you like. Oh, what okay. You do on, what, no, like what you do on Mondays. Tell us about you. All right. I'm a Virgo. And <laughs> Good to know. That part is true. Proceeding with caution. <laughs> well, I just want to say, first of all, what an honor and a pleasure it has been to work with Matt. Right. One of the most humble, kindest, and talented mm. uh, musicians that we've had the opportunity to work with. So thank, thank you, Matt. Absolutely. We love your music. Uh, my name is Angie, this is Joseph and Tori, and we're all part of a band uh, that travel that's based here in Austin. When we travel around, we're called the Matchmaker Band. And uh, we do have a long-standing residency here in town on Monday nights called uh, Motown Monday. We're now um, hosting that at the Highball on South Lamar, so you guys come out. But um, we are just you know, glad to be here, um, buddies outside. Of, of the job and had breakfast this morning at Magnolia Cafe and <laughs> picked on <laughs> each other mercilessly, but um, all of us, you know, feel so so blessed to be able to do this for a living. So we're just glad to be here today, and I want to say hi to all my friends and family back in Enterprise and Dothan, Alabama, if you're watching. Woo. Hello. <laughs> hey, Bama. Does Sorry. anybody else have a shot? Oh, this is your chance. Yes, this is it. Because <laughs> I know how you feel about Alabama, but we got Ohio, we've got College Station. We go need Bucks. The, all right, there we go. I mean, should I say College Station here in Austin? We're going to let it slide. Yeah. <laughs> We're all friends here. So I have one more question, and it's sure. a little bit silly, but I think it's important that you're clearly a very good storyteller. Yeah. Picture yourself, end of days, okay? Yeah. It's very grim. Oh, my. Right. Here we go. But someone's making a movie about your life. Good news. Right. Who do you want to play you? I knew this was a Russell Crowe. Question. Russell Crowe. Oh. Perfect. Oh. All right, y'all. Who's playing you? <laughs> this like is very guy. different from the other question you asked us. Okay, we we're not were talking about that. We agreed okay. <laughs> that what we talked about off camera Denzel. Was <laughs> Did you just say Denzel? <laughs> I'll take it. Denzel. Sold. Yeah. Denzel. Ladies. But I do have to say I about end of days, whatever. Yes, like we're talking about that. Um, <laughs> there's a... <coughs> Lately, it seems like I've repurposed some old songs, and these songs that I've written, they're kind of focused on, on a certain theme. And I think um, as I've gotten older, it's, uh, I'm drawn more to this side of me, even though like writing with Gene was great and the, you know, a great opportunity. But I think all those, getting to meet different people from all over the world and then kind of recess your life and, and, and look back on it and what means the most to you, is um, doing these songs and kind of making people feel good, kind of helping the community. And uh, the, to me, that's uh, it makes me happy. And um, there was once, I mean, I probably have a reputation in town. You know, I know that. I, I've, I'm <laughs> We're not judging. We're not here to I'm, judge. I'm, it's not that, you know, I'm that guy or whatever. But I uh, now I enjoy, you know, this. Even it, it, it means a lot. And this is where my heart is right now, so. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Amazing. Poured his heart out. Did you think he of did. who you want to play you in a movie? Now I feel really petty for saying I want um, Halle Berry played. That is not <laughs> petty. <laughs> that is not so petty. Bad? That's okay. amazing. Well, I used to be skinny, so Brandy. <laughs> you are perfect, first and of all. Rewind. <laughs> no. And then she can play me when I was young. And then since my story would be made while I'm alive, I'll play me. 
Thank you for giving them that time to think because look what happened. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all so much for coming. I yeah. just want to say thank you again for tuning in. This was another episode of Austin 360 Studio Session sponsored by Bud Light. We will see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right.